If you found this video, your ancestors have been working very closely with you lately. You've most likely felt their presence in a way that might be hard to describe or explain. It could be that in the middle of receiving some kind of energy of warmth or some kind of thought of love that seems to pop into your mind out of nowhere coming from the ether, you might suddenly find yourself thinking of a relative who has passed and this can be a sign that message although it seemed to originate within your own mind or that feeling of warmth although it seemed to come out of nowhere has actually been transmitted to you by that particular relative who is now working with you spiritually from the other side which isn't so much the other side because it is so actively involved with what we consider to be our side here on earth. For others of you, these might not be relatives, but ancestors that you never knew in this lifetime who have opted rather than reincarnating immediately back to earth to help you to assist you along your pathway and there is a reason for this because you hold the seed of an incredibly powerful spiritual mission and purpose here and while you might look like one physical individual carrying out this purpose if you could see the number of spiritual beings who are always supporting, assisting, and guiding you in this purpose, you would not feel so alone. You would feel supported by an entire network of souls as you actually are from a spiritual perspective. In today's video, we are going to be channeling some insights from these relatives or ancestors working with you on a soul level from the beyond assisting you in the lessons that you are learning here on earth not just the lessons you are learning for yourself but the chains you are breaking for future generations and for the collective consciousness as a whole because as we know when you heal something within yourself when you integrate something in your own life you are integrating it not just for yourself but for the collective you are healing it not just for yourself but for others who will because of your courageous choice to heal be more easily able to follow in those energetic footsteps so i am going to go ahead and start shuffling from the traditional tarot cards and channeling through messages from your ancestors about your soul purpose and your life path here so what do those listening need to know we have the eight of wands in the upright position if you've recently felt a sudden burst of motivation or inspiration towards a particular goal dream or endeavor maybe you suddenly felt pushed into action there has been a specific ancestor who quite literally gave you this push into taking some kind of action because they know that the time is right. For a while, you've been sitting in this space where you've been healing, where you've been integrating a lot of spiritual information, where things may have looked or felt stagnant in your life 
but this was for a divine reason and you knew it intuitively, which is why you continue to sit in this energy. You recognized for a while the time wasn't to take action. It was to sit in silence, to reflect, to introspect, to heal, to integrate. But now an ancestor has come into your energy field and given you a push into action. They are telling you, you have healed this. You have integrated something fully. You have created the foundation. And now it's time to build upon that foundation, to step into action as you feel inspired and as you feel intuitively guided. Because for someone listening here, I get the sense that because this past phase of your life had been so much about healing, about integrating, about hermiting during all of that, as these newfound inspirations to take action have been flowing to you, that conscious part of your mind has been stifling them or shutting them down. This is because you've been so accustomed to allowing yourself to slow down. And again, that was very necessary. You've been accustomed to focusing mainly on cultivating that peaceful, strong foundation energetically within you. In a sense, we might consider this to be the cultivation of your internal divine feminine energy. And although we all have a balance of both, divine feminine and divine masculine within each of us, lately your divine feminine has been needed to be attended to in a stronger way. And again, this has allowed you to come into deep levels of peace, to love and embrace your true self completely, and that has created a strong foundation. But your intuition has been trying to speak to you lately, and this ancestor coming through is saying, listen to and jump into action on those intuitive impulses and see where they lead. And this is going to bring more passion, more energy into your field. And it's also going to allow you to magnetize in those desires that you've been visioning during this time of stillness. So I'm going to reshuffle the cards and pull through another ancestor message for someone. What is another message from someone's ancestors? Okay, so this card fell onto the floor here. And it is the Two of Cups sitting on the crown chakra. So someone's ancestor is saying... A divine union is aligning. This is something that you've been waiting for, but I'm hearing the words struggling with or struggling against. So for someone listening, love has not felt as though it's come easily to you in this lifetime. This is because your spirit team has been actively guiding your love life and preserving you for a very divine and sacred union. This ancestor wants you to know that many people who came before you experienced a much smaller love. Not smaller in sense of comparison of importance because those smaller loves were of utmost importance to those who came before you. Those loves were meant to stabilize them and assist them in necessary ways along their pathway here on earth. But you have been chosen and preserved for a greater love, meaning you have been preserved for a love that isn't of necessity, but is of the soul, a love that awakens you. In fact, I feel for many of you, you've already gone through an awakening that may have been sparked by some kind of love situation, by a deep soul connection, possibly a twin flame or a high level soulmate who came into your life and shook up your world 
not for the purpose of immediately giving you that love relationship, but for the purpose of awakening you. And a hard lesson that someone has been learning is that not all loves are the same. Some loves come in simply to support you and to bring you laughter and fun and to stabilize you where you are, wherever you are. And other loves come in to awaken you and to completely shake up your world and alter your entire paradigm of your own life and your own reality. You are someone who has, as a soul, entered this lifetime with the intention of experiencing these more powerful loves, whether this has been a series of people who have come into your life that you share a deep soul connection with, who have rattled you to your core and created tower moments and awakened you and shaken up your world, or whether this has been one overarching soul love story in your life that you seem to just keep carrying with you. The guides are also reminding here and the ancestors, although of course these ancestors are acting as a form of spirit guide as well. They are saying that your love life is unconventional because it was meant to be. You aren't meant to be experiencing the kind of love that you see many people around you experiencing. Not that, of course, you can't attain to that because you have the power to manifest anything in your life. But what I mean is there's something about the timing here. So whereas you may see many people around you or in society seeming to effortlessly flow into these forever love relationships that don't seem to have any turbulence, you are someone who has experienced somewhat of the opposite. Maybe you've had a very turbulent long-term love connection or many different love connections, or maybe you've been single for a long time. But this isn't because what you desire isn't coming it's because you are being preserved for a love that not only connects with you in the physical, but that also is highly sacred and divine in nature that supports you in a tremendous spiritual purpose. You're being preserved for that kind of love and prepared for it. In fact, I feel for many of you, you've been prepared for this for a very long time. And this is now something that's on the horizon for you that is now entering your life, maybe recently for some of you or for others of you is going to be entering your life very soon. Okay, I'm going to reshuffle here. While I'm shuffling, I want to share with you my personal most powerful tool for transforming my own life and manifesting my desires into physical reality. These are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations that contain unconscious spoken affirmations along with beautiful meditative nature sounds or background music. And the purpose here is to allow the affirmations to bypass the conscious filter of the mind, allowing them to make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. The subconscious actually controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So when we reprogram what's happening in our subconscious mind, we have the power to shift exponentially fast to take quantum leaps in our lives because we are accessing the true powerhouse of our energetic field. I've seen the results of subliminals in my own life. I've been using them for years now and almost instantaneously when I started using them, I saw the most amazing shifts in my mindset, my confidence, my mood, and 
I began to quickly see many manifestations I'd been desiring for a long time coming into my life. So I am so passionate about subliminals and I'm so excited to now be sharing them with you through my app, Sound and Soulful. This app contains over 130 subliminals for all areas of life. So there are subliminals for mood, mindset, money, love, relationships, energy clearing, business, and so much more. When you sign up for a seven-day free trial account in the app, you get access to all of the subliminals I've created in 10 different background sound options. You can create your own custom private playlists, and you can even read the affirmations while you are listening. The link to download the Sound and Soulful app is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. And for this reading, I would most highly recommend my Love Magnetism Subliminal from the app. This will help you supercharge your energy to become extremely magnetic for attracting in your highest timeline in love, whatever that looks like for you personally. So again, the link to download the app is under this video. So I am going to be shuffling the cards here and asking the ancestors guiding and surrounding this reading, what else you need to know? An ancestor is saying, you already know this message on some level, but this is coming through to help you recognize it more consciously. And the message is, there are two pathways presenting themselves to you. I'm hearing there is no higher or lower path. They both seem to stem from the throat chakra. So this is about defining and communicating what you want. Communicating it to the universe, to your inner self, which is automatically connected to all that is. I'm hearing define what you want because there are two options, two pathways available for you. I'm hearing you can have anything, but not everything all at once. And what that means is that the reason these are two options is because they seem to inherently conflict or contradict. Yes, multi-manifesting is absolutely possible, but it requires a harmonious vision. You can manifest as many things as you desire into existence, but in order for all of those things to manifest, you must be able to create a harmonious vision that contains the manifestation of all of those different aspects. For example, you can't live in a forest by no body of water and live by the ocean simultaneously. However, you can have either thing at any given time, if that makes sense. You can also have the essence of everything you desire in either place. So that's a powerful message coming through as well. Whichever pathway you choose, there's no higher or lower pathway because either pathway carries with it the potential to fulfill the essence, the core of everything you desire. Meaning if you get down to the core of why you desire it at a very basic core level, either pathway has that very high vibration correlated to it that allows you to manifest that core essence of those desires. For example, if one pathway is you choosing a career in the music industry and one pathway is you choosing a career as a podcaster or a YouTuber, in this instance, either pathway has the ability to fulfill those deep core desires of success, of recognition, of abundance, 
of empowerment, of fulfillment, of feeling like you are living your soul purpose, of developing a sense of community and connectedness to others that feels authentic. But in this scenario, both of these pathways require a certain level of focused energy that makes them inherently contradictory in an immediate sense, meaning you're going to have to decide to focus your energy in one way or another at this time. Now, of course, you are an unlimited being. So even in this example, if you choose one pathway, you can always choose later on to move to the other pathway, to jump between the two, if you will. But the choice here is where are you going to focus your energy and attention now? And again, the message is either pathway does carry the ability to manifest the core essence of what you desire. So it's all about just defining a harmonious vision of what you want. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pull one more message from your ancestors. So there's a message coming through about teamwork and collaboration with the three of pentacles. There seems to be someone who wants to give you something in terms of this collaboration. This could be a person who wants to collaborate with you from a business perspective, financially, in the workplace, who wants to collaborate on an idea. This is someone who wants to be very generous with you, generous with their wisdom, with their time, with their effort, and accepting this person's generosity, the gift of knowledge and teamwork and collaboration that they're going to give you is going to be an investment that pays off in a major way with the seven of pentacles in the upright position. This is going to accelerate the manifestation of something that you desire. So if there's been someone who's been trying to offer you assistance, coaching, mentorship, collaboration, something of that nature, this is a message from your ancestors to, of course, listen to your intuition. But if this feels aligned for you, be open to accepting that offer from this person because it could allow you to accelerate yourself towards something that you desire. So I know that there are many, many, many more messages we could channel through here. This video truly could be hours long, but I feel like this is... A good place to go ahead and close the video for today. Now, if you did enjoy this style of reading where we are channeling into messages from your ancestors, then let me know in the comments and I can create more videos like this in the future. Of course, if you resonate with my energy in a general sense, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. And of course, if you do feel guided to using the subliminals I've created to reprogram your mind and manifest your desires in life, the link to download my subliminals app sound and soulful is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love and light energy. Have a beautiful remainder of your day and week, and I will connect with you here again in the next video.